Welcome back to Advanced Form Fitness. So do you have tight calves, get shin splits when you run, or have poor single leg balance? Then today's exercises should help. We're gonna use positional isometrics to increase mobility in your ankle by activating all the muscles within the foot and in the lower leg, okay? This is called the foot box series. Here we go. Okay, so first exercise here is called simple foot slide, okay? You're just gonna slide your foot forward as far as you can without the big toe coming off the ground. And then slide your heel, keeping your foot flat as close to your butt as you can. Try to maintain the hip, knee, and foot alignment as you go out. Pause at the end range, hold for five seconds, and then slide back. Next exercise is get to the end of the foot slide, and then just press the big toe and the inside part of your ball of your foot down into the floor like you're putting on the gas and then you're gonna pull all the way back up take your foot off the gas right so I'm feeling this in the anterior part of my lower leg here and then as I'm pushing it down I'm trying to feel that through behind the calf so we're getting into the foot box here we're gonna slide out as far as we can then we're gonna slide in create the first corner of the box here again nothing moves through the knee the thigh everything moves through the ankle I'm feeling this a little bit more on the medial side then I'm going to come up and draw the top corner of this box and then scrunch my toes feeling a little bit in the arch of my foot feeling a little bit in the anterior lower part of my leg and then I'm going to draw the other corner of the box feeling a little bit more lateral peroneals here and I'm going to go down to the, up, to the last corner of the box. Again, trying to keep the foot flat, keep the toes from rolling. You can practice just going from one, the bottom corners, sliding across first, see how far you can move. And then I'll come up and I'll draw the top corner of the box, scrunch my toes, and then maybe go back and forth and draw the top two corners of the box. Going back and forth, okay. And then you can put it all together corner of the box five second hold up scrunch the toes five second hold over and down so pay attention to a couple things only use about 30 to 40 percent force when applying the end range isometric contraction and if you do feel a cramp coming on that's a clear indication that that position that is supposed to be innervated by certain muscle groups is weak and then there's a cramp coming on because of the compensations so back off of it and only go into the position as much as you can control if you have any questions on how to improve your range of motion and mobility through positional isometrics please reach out to me directly i'd be happy to assist until next time take care